Good morning guys. Um, welcome back to my channel. On today's video I'm going to do the unboxing of my Sephora Play and also my Target Beauty Box. Um, I just received both of them on Friday so I figured I would do them really quick together. I really didn't want to do a, a video for each one. Um, I got a few hours in here by myself today so I figured I'd take advantage of doing a couple of videos. I'm going to start with the um, the Sephora Play and this year is Halloween related. It's got a pumpkin on the uh, 50 um, beauty points and I never get to use these. I think this month we can use them online also so um, I may be able to use those. So I'm not going to go through the products right now but this says last minute looks for Halloween and let's see what we received. It looks like they have changed the way that they send us uh, the products they used to come in a cloth um, little baggie with a pull string and now they're these little plastic like a Ziploc bag which is okay that's fine because I really didn't use the other ones much for anything I usually saved them for when I saved some products for my daughter my granddaughter I would put them in there but you know it's no big deal I can still reuse these so the first product that I'm pulling out is the Urban Decay, the all-nighter all -nighter long lasting setting spray. And this is one of my favorite setting sprays. It's very expensive. So um, I usually buy it when I have a coupon. Right now they're having, excuse me, they're having a special that you get two bottles for, I think it's like $38. I'm not even sure if they're the full size. They look like they are, but normally they're like, I think like $36 a piece. But this is like a nice little uh, travel size. So I would definitely use this. And this is nice because you can refill it once this is empty. So this is great for traveling because this will last you um, a few days because you don't use that much at one time. So I like that. The, uh, it looks like the perfume that they sent this month is the Kat Von D, the Sin and Sinner. And I'm not that crazy about neither one of these uh, scents. Um, I have received these before. So usually what I do is I take these to work when I accumulate a few of them. I either let my daughter and granddaughter and some other family members pick through them to see which ones they want. Because I, you know, I do accumulate quite a few. And then I also take some to work and let the girls, you know, pick some. The next product is the Coconut Water Cream. And this is Hydrating Smooth Recharge Moisturizer, looks like. I've tried this before and this is very nice. I do like it. So, um, again, I usually save this little travel size for when I do travel. I haven't been doing much traveling lately, but they're nice for that. And, or I, you know, when I do accumulate too many, I share. Okay, and then I received the Caudalie Vino Perfect Serum Eclay, Radiant Serum, okay. I do love Caudalie. I think they have excellent, excellent um, products. Let me make sure my phone is on silent. Yes, it is. They have excellent products and um, I really do enjoy their, um, I haven't tried the serum, so I'm happy to get a, a nice sample of it. This will last a, a little while, long enough for me to figure out if I like it. And, you know, that's the kind of samples I like. When you get the little foils, how can you tell if you're going to like that or not? Then I received from Benefit the Gimme Brow. And this is a number three, which is too light for me. So this is something that I will give away. I'm not even going to open it because this is something I can't use. It's way, way too light, too light for me. I'm not that crazy about the Gimme Brow anyway. Even the number four is more my shade, but I find it still kind of dry. So, and then I received a lipstick from Anastasia Beverly Hills. And the color is banana, oh, banana stick. So maybe it's not. Oh, wow is there a lot of product in this or what so I guess this must be like a concealer it says banana stick so I would assume it's a concealer which is nice it feels nice it does have some coverage and it feels creamy it doesn't feel I mean it feels creamy not too oily where it's going to crease 
but it did spread nicely and then now it feels kind of powdery so this is something nice this is something different I like this but I just it makes it look like there's going to be so much product in there and but it's enough in there that I should be able to use it for a while and see if I like it so I do enjoy that so let me see if they tell me a little bit about each product so let's see the concealer it says a pale yellow light to full coverage foundation stick Oh, it's a foundation stick. <laughs> okay, that's not going to last long. But um, it looks like a good match for me, so we'll see. So uh, it's supposed to be multitasking cream foundation provides buildable high pigment coverage to flawless natural looking look. Then we all know about the Urban Decay that is a fantastic setting spray. Um, the Fresh Oasis uh, First Beauty Aid. An oil-free, lightweight moisturizer that replenishes skin with coconut water. And I do like that. It's very, very light. So when I use something like that, it's usually during the day. At night, I like to put more emollient um, moisturizers on my face. And why we're under its spell. The hydrating water... Oh my God, my eyes are so blurry. My, the hydrating water cream soft and smooths and visibly plumps skin with ingredients rich in electrolytes, amino acids, enzymes, antioxidants, and phytonutrients. So it says apply evenly, a quarter size amount over a cleansed face. And the um, Gimme Brow is, is that right there. And as you can see, I mean, I don't know if that's the shade, but that's definitely too light for me. And then the Caudalie, an oil-free radiance boosting serum that visibly even skin tone. Why we're under its spell. The lightweight brightening formula com combats the appearance of dark spots with natural ingredients. Plus it absorbs quickly into skin to, for ultimate hydration. Apply a dime-sized amount to cleanse sun, to cleansed skin morning and night. Now, um, I have been using the um, Elancome serum, so right now I'm not going to be using this. I may leave it again for when I travel because Elancome is a bigger bottle, so this will be a lot easier to take with me. And then the uh, Sin and Sinner, no, <laughs> Saint and Sinner scents. It says, this fragrance duo shows opposites attract. Saint is dreamy and alluring, while Sinner is dark and empowering. So, um, I guess this, is, this tells you like different ways that you can, I don't know, pamper yourself during Halloween. So this is nice. I got some nice products. Um, again, I don't know how many times I'm going to be able to use this, but if it works as a concealer, I might just leave it for that. But not, but not a bad box. I like that. That was a pretty nice box. Definitely worth $10. And now for the Target one. And the Target one, what I like about it, this month they had two of them, and I just picked the one that I wanted. And you can usually, I mean, every time I do it, I'm able to see whatever products are in each box. And it's $7, and it's not a subscription box. You just have to go and buy it whenever it's available. I normally get an email whenever there's a box available. And then I just go in and if I want it, I get it. If not, I pass it. And they always give you a $3 off a $15 a cosmetic purchase. And you can use it at Target or Target.com. And this is the way it comes in the box. And I know I picked it, but I don't remember what I picked. So the first thing in there is this Lumify Eye Drops. And I just purchased these through Amazon. I didn't even know that and this is the same size that I purchased this is like a full size okay I paid $18 for this at Amazon on Amazon I didn't know Target carried it carried it uh, Target carries it for $11.99 because when I saw this on the um, beauty box I went ahead and I looked and their price is $11.99 this will whiten your eyes immediately and your eyes will stay white for like 10 hours so sometimes when I get up in the morning, my eyes are a little red. And if I'm going to film, you know, I'll go ahead and I use the drops because, I mean, the dark circles and wrinkles and everything else is enough. I don't need bloodshot eyes. 
so this is very nice it doesn't sting some of them you know when you put them in your eyes they sting this one doesn't it's very comfortable and it even whitens the uh the the waterline so it's really really nice i really enjoy it so this alone is worth the box so the next product that i received was the covergirl get in line liquid liner and major matte black I've never used it before, but let's see what it looks like. So definitely already over the $7 price because the I know that, let's say $11.99, this is probably at least $6 or $7, I would imagine. Oh, this is a very, it's a brush tip, but very, very thin, if you guys can see. And let's see what kind of line it makes. It's very liquidy. Um, it's black. It's not, I don't know, maybe on the eye it will look, look different, but I don't think it's super black. It's still wet so let's see if it dries matte the the first one I did this one is already drying matte I'll try to rub on it and see if it comes off is this supposed to be waterproof it doesn't say I don't know I have a hard time with eyeliners then we have a Sonia Kashuk and this is a brow brow line and fill brush with spoolie so this is nice. This is a nice brush. Wow, what did I do here? <laughs> okay, uh, it's got a little lid to it, but um, I was a little rough with it. I'll fix it later. But this is like to apply your uh, eyeliner or your brow pomade, which I don't use. So I would use this for eyeliner. And can I lock? Okay. And then this side has a spoolie, which is nice. So I normally don't really use an eyebrow pencil that doesn't have a spoolie on the other side because I don't like to be searching for a spoolie. But this is nice, I guess. And then the last thing is the Acure Welcome to Skin Wellness Radically Rejuvenating Under Eye Hydrogels. I have never used this before. This is Cucumber and Silk H Performance. 100% vegan, 0% questionable, paraben free, sulfate free, mineral oil free, petroleum free, silicone free, and cruelty free. So this is nice. I don't know how much these masks are. Like I said, I think Acure is a good brand. I've heard of it before. And Target doesn't send you... Oh, there's one more product in there. Target doesn't send you any information on what's in the box. So, you know, this really doesn't tell me how much it costs or... It says, Health is Beautiful, Intense Soothing Under Eye Elixir Hydrogels to Help Rejuvenate with Cucumber and Persian Silk Tree. Keep in the fridge for a cooling boost and say hello to deep hydration. I do like to put my eye mask in the refrigerator for like a half an hour before I use them because they feel really amazing when you put them under your eye. So, uh, that's a nice little trick that I have been doing for a while. So that was a definitely worth the money. This was $7, no tax, that's it. Thanks, $7. Oh, and the last, um, the last product is the by Maybelline, the Lash Sensational Effect Even Tail. What is this? I say it's a mascara. I, mm, I really don't want to open it because I have so many mascaras. Very black. So it is, um, it says full fan effect. So it is a mascara, which I have never used this before. I've never heard of it before. So I don't want to open it because I have quite a few mascaras open. So let me tell you about the makeup that I have on today. So the, I didn't bring it with me. I always do that. Hold on. Let me go get it. Okay. I'm back. The foundation that I'm wearing is the Laura Mercier Flawless Fusion 
foundation where you guys know that I really truly do love this foundation this foundation it's one on my face for sure never lets me down the uh, powder that I am using is the hourglass setting powder and this is such a cool powder because it's got the little H there so what you do is you turn it over and then you're supposed to get just enough powder out for what you should need to set your face so I did use it to set my face and my under eyes the I, I'm not using any bronzer today the um, blush that I'm using is the Laura Geller and this is the Baked Impressions Blush Barolo is the name B-A-R-O-L-O -O. and this is a very pretty like a rosy pink the concealer that I'm wearing today, I have really some serious eye bags this morning, or not eye bags, dark circles. So this is the Amazing Concentrate Hydrate Concealer, and this is a heavy duty concealer. And I don't use it that often, but I did use it today. It is very hydrating, and it's thicker than most of the concealers that I normally use, but sometimes you have to pull the big guns. This is my big gun for my eyes. The highlighter that I use today is by Ciate, and this is a highlighter. And this is called Stardust, and I really do like this. This is very pretty. You can go bold, or you can go, that's bold, or you can go subtle, like I have it. Let me swatch the, the uh, blush for you. This blush is really pretty. All of the Laura Geller blushes are pretty. She has some really nice face products. This is the blush. So it's nice because you really have to build it. It doesn't, I don't, I appreciate a blush like that. I'd rather build it than deal with having to, well, I just erased the eyeliner without seeing if it would come off. And my special product that I am wearing today is this beauty on my eyes this is the ABH sultry palette oh my god this is beautiful this is a cool tone palette but I really don't have that many cool tone palettes and I think I can carry it off either way I can go cool tone or warm tones I normally go for warm tones because those are the ones that I'm attracted to the most and I usually don't find cool tone palettes that I'm crazy about so this one is beautiful it's gorgeous I am going to create a look a video on um, how to use this palette I did use I use this one on my crease very lightly this one well this one as a um, transition very lightly this one on the crease um, I use this one on the outer V and also pulled it into the crease. I use a little bit of the black on the outer V and pulled it just a tiny bit into the crease. And then I use this one on my lid. And I did use the NYX um, glue, shadow glue and to make sure that I didn't get glitter on my face. I really didn't have any kind of glitter on my face or it's not, I didn't find it as powdery as the usual. It's, I find that it is just as good as her, you know, her other palettes. But I mean, I'm ne I never go crazy when I dip into my shadows. So I really don't have that much problem, that many problems with the, any of my palettes. But, um, I, it was really nice. I didn't have, and I still don't have any. So maybe it would have gone on my eyelid okay without the glitter glue, but I didn't want to take any chances. So let me swatch a couple of them for you. This one's beautiful, the one that I used with the glitter glue. Um, and some of these colors even go a little warm. But I just saw this palette was different. It's definitely not like anything else I have. Now look at that. You can go really deep with that pink one but I went lightly on the uh, let me bring it up a little closer so you can see it wait I'm going on the wrong one I think it's a beautiful palette 
and I really like this look that I created with it. This would be nice for the holidays. I think it would be very pretty. So um, I will film a video creating a look with that, but I wanted to wear it today so I could show it to you guys. And then my lips I used, this is from ColourPop and I love these. I love to carry these in my purse because it has, I have products all over my hands. It has a lip pencil on lip liner on one side and it has a lippy on the other and I got this I think it was last year they had kits that brought like four different shades but this is nice because you know you can carry both of them with you okay Clara come on open up see so you can take both you know you stick it in your purse it doesn't take up a lot of room and I'm a lip liner person I use lip liner 99% of the time sometimes when I'm using a um, a dull foot you know one of the uh, lipsticks that I can actually be precise if it has a, a pointy tip I may not but I would say that 99% of the time I do use a lip liner I think you can your lipstick lasts longer you for sure it's not gonna go anywhere it's not gonna bleed it's gonna stay on your lip so I do enjoy that so this is it guys this is uh, all I have for this video I am going to uh, film a couple of videos and I may be wearing the same clothes because I need to take advantage today that I have some time to do this so um, I hope you enjoyed it uh, don't forget about the Halloween trick-or-treat giveaway that I'm running right now on my channel um, I will link the uh, video on the cards and I will see you on my next video if you're new to my channel please subscribe I love you guys and I'll see you soon bye Mwah.